Well, my grandparents came in on the run. Uh, my grandmother was 99 when she died and used to tell me as a teenager about living in a sod house and coming in on a covered wagon uh, in northwestern Oklahoma, a little tiny town of Oakwood that non-existent now. It's a gas station is about it. Uh, and my dad worked his way through high school, college, medical school became chief of surgery at Mercy Hospital. And I was raised in Crown Heights uh, and went to Edgemere uh, uh, grade school and then Cassidy High School. Uh, and uh, my upbringing was interesting. Uh, my parents weren't that political, but I was and uh, uh, got involved in the teenage Republicans. And Two experiences uh, with the relate to the corruption of that time. Uh, one was driving GT Blankenship's bus around the state, just I and GT. He ran for attorney general and won, and his uh, main issue was uncovering the Supreme Court scandal. It's hard to imagine a majority of the Supreme Court was taking bribes. How could you practice law in that right. environment? Yeah. Uh, and he was brave enough to uncover that. And uh, uh, much of the experiences of that uh, um, uh, it, of that uh, time uh, came over uh, to me uh, as. Boy, it's important to eliminate corruption. Uh, secondly, uh, J.D. McCarty was Speaker of the House. And in Oklahoma, the governor is not that strong. Uh, and J.D. McCarty had destroyed governors before. Uh, he was incredibly powerful. And his power drive from special interests would bring sacks of money to J.D., and he would pass it around to everybody. So everybody was dependent on their cash uh, getting them elected. Uh, and so uh, J.D. McCarty was in the most Democratic district in Oklahoma, uh, southeastern Oklahoma County, uh, and uh, a guy named Al Snipes, who was Republican chairman. Uh, there were only about 10 percent of the uh, the Senate and the House and or the electorate that was Republican at that time, and uh, Al Snipes didn't even have a candidate. He had these teenage Republicans, and we had about 100 members, uh, that would call all the voters and find out if there's, he, he found out that there's two or three Republicans in the <laughs> whole district. And so uh, he, recru he recruited one of them that people thought well of, uh, a funeral home director. <laughs> they saw his signs and uh, named Vondell Smith. And so we called every voter, and this district was so impoverished that it probably had 10% turnout, and he managed to defeat J.D. McCarty in the most Democratic district in Oklahoma. And then a couple of years later, uh, McCarty went to jail for tax evasion from all these sacks of money. Uh, and so uh, th those were the two of uh, the experiences uh, that I was involved in. Yeah. And then I went to Georgetown uh, School of Foreign Service, came back to OU Law School, uh, and uh, was involved in politics uh, both places.